This is Jeffrey from Jeffrey App Tech, and welcome back to another video. In this video, I will be showing you part two of creating our iOS app for second development with the Dubot Magician robotic arm. First of all, let's get started by picking up where we left off from the previous video, with all our methods predefined for us. In the init data method, we want to define the delegate, adding the MSG handler, setting the address, and the height level. First, you want to get started with the double brackets, and this will be one of the most common methods that you'll be using. Bluetooth manager, shared manager, dot delegate, equals self, because we have set our delegate up here. And then you want to add an MSG handler. add msg handler and it will be adding self then you want to set the address equals 0x01 which is a type of hexadecimal and then the is height level equals a yes now we're going to work on build ui the first one is we will be setting the background to dark gray. UI color, dark gray color. Then you want to update the button, which is one of our method methods. Self update button BLE connect which is what we had before down here and then you want to set the tags x plus e dot tag equals x plus and we can copy this and paste it a few times x minus And this will be a Y. This will also be Y. And that is it. Now we'll move on and we want to make an array of these buttons. We'll call it buttons and it will be a non-mutable way array which means you can't change after you've defined it array array with objects we want this one and the first one is x plus x minus y plus and y minus those are all of the buttons and then we want to run a for loop and add the long press to each of these for ui button button in buttons so for each button that's in buttons we want to add the long press Let's just a recognizer. And it's UI long press just a recognizer allocate init with target and self and the action is long is um at selector. long press button jog which we have set and then self or sorry button add gesture recognizer 
and we want to add long press. Then we want to update the jog mode of the switch. That's it for build UI. Now we want to call these in, in view did load. So that includes self init data and self build UI. Then we'll work on the BLE connect. It's quite simple. We just have to check if it's connected and if it's disconnected and then change the button appropriately. If, and again, we're going to be using the most, the more common BLE MSG manager, shared manager. Now you want to set the title of the BLE connect. And the title will be, let's say, disconnect. And for state dot no, UI control state normal. And because I'm so used to Swift, I thought dot normal would just work, but it doesn't, because this is not Swift. And actually, we don't need that else. If we can just put else. And if it didn't connect, that means we can say connect for the title. Then you want to init the I do timer, which we will have to look for. And this isn't actually too much. We just have to change the timer and we have to init it. It's, it's pretty much one line of code. So we want to change the I do timer to an NS timer. Come on, you know how to do this. NS timer, scheduled timer, time interval. And we want to use this one, which includes user info, repeats, and selector. The time interval is 0 0.5. Target is self, as usual. And the selector, we will change, change IODO. And the user info is nil, and it re does repeat. So first, for changing the IODO, we want to set is height level to its opposite. And to do this, you just put in is height level equals exclamation mark is height level. And then you want to set the, you want to set u int 8. You want to set u int ht. And we're going to call it level. And that's equal to 0x00 by default, but it changes to 0x01 if its height level is true. If is height level, if it's true, then level equals 0x01. Now we want to set our IODO to IODO equals curly braces address with the level then we want to define our payload and this will also show up a lot in this code Command set IODO and the IODO is IODO, which we have set, and is Q is no. Then we want to complete something with the payload. Use that block. And then we want to check if the result is okay. And here we want to put a semicolon because it's actually one line 
So if the result is equal to MSG result, okay. That means we're good, there's no error, and we can define our payload again. But this time it's called the MSG payload, and it's a little bit different. Dubot Magician MSG, we'll call MSG dot payload. IO, and we'll define another IODO for the MSG. And we want to get the bytes and params and the length of MSG audio. This has to be capitalized. That's what's giving us our error. Dot params. Get bytes. And length. So the bytes of MSG IODO and the length is size of MSG IODO. Now we want to print it out to the log. This is quite simple, although not simple at the same time. You can't just directly put it. You have to actually do it on the main queue, but we'll define the text first. And of course, if you remember this from Objective-C, I haven't done Objective-C tutorials in a long time. So sometimes I will make some Swift mistakes that show up in Swift, but not in Objective-C. We want to print our IODO with the address of percent sign D and level percent sign D. And these percent sign Ds are MI address and level. And now we want to get the main queue. And in order to get that, we have to put in dispatch a sync. And we want this one. And our dispatch and our this one is dispatch get main q. And don't delete that. You want to press enter on it. And inside you want to say log dot text equals text. And then we want to put our semicolon, then get out, and then we'll send our payload. And we'll send the MSG payload. That's done, now we can update the jog mode. That's our next method. And the first one is we wanna check if the jog mode switch is on. That means we are in our correct mode. And that is jog mode which is j1 plus j1 minus j2 plus j1 j minus and we'll set the titles of the buttons set title and the title will be j1 plus for state ui control state normal. We'll copy that and paste that a few times. Hmm, what's the error here? Well, let's try to 
change it to something different because it could be used for something else. Update jog mode tapped. How about that? And wherever that is. Hmm. What's the problem here? Move it back and we will continue with our code. Just ignore the problem. And this will be J1 minus. And you can copy that again. That works. And then we want to put in else and this time it'll be x plus x minus y plus and y minus that's all it does really and then we want to set this method First, we want to set the jog command mode. We'll call it mode, and that's equal to jog command mode underscore joint. Well, that's a default, but if it's the switch is off, which in our case, jog mode switch dot is on, so if it's not on, then you want to set the mode equals jog command mode underscore coordinate then we want to check the recognizer state if recognizer state ui gesture Recognizer state began. Then we'll do our code. And we want to don't not have an else. But anyway, I'll leave that code for the next part. And I'll see you that next time. Bye.